Hello all, welcome to Miss I's second podcast. Um, today we'll be talking about image, uh, capturing images for our documentary and also making sure that we cite them. So before we even go into Google Chrome, on our desktops we're going to want to create a folder. So on your desktop you're going to right click, new, and folder. We want to title this um, human rights pics because this is where we're going to be um, storing our pictures until we upload them onto our drive. So I want to go to rename human rights pics. And I want to leave that over in the corner over here so I can easily get to it. Then what I want to do is get into my drive. Under your language arts folder, you'll find this image citation sheet. This right here is going to be where we actually cite our images. Um, because we didn't actually take those pictures, so we want to make sure that we give credit to the place that we got them from. So for every single picture that you want to use in your documentary, you need to have a website here. Okay. So now that I know that that's open, I want to be able to open another screen. Um, so this could be another thing, screen that I use. Um, I've already been looking for a picture here, but when you go to look for your pictures, you want to make sure you pay attention to your keywords. Only basic words that you need, the most important words. We don't want to add a lot of extra stuff in there or make it too specific. Um, so notice how when I've done that, I'm on images here and I've got all these different groupings of pictures that Google has already grouped for me. I can use those or I can just continue down here. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the fact that some of these pictures are pretty graphic. We want to make sure that the pictures that we use, um, yes, they can be um, you know, telling the story, but we don't want anything too inappropriate for school, um, nudity, things like that. We don't want to include um, because remember our audience is your teacher and your classmates. So knowing that I see this image here, it's a very famous image from the Rwandan, uh, the Rwandan genocide, and I might want to use that with the machete marks here. So notice how it pops up this little box for me. I want to go to view image because I want to be able to see this whole image here. Make sure you are on this before you do this next step. Now you might have to click this little minimize box, but I want to make sure I can see my picture and my folder still. So if your screen's big, it might be that you just need to hit that little minimize box. So now that I can see my folder and I can see my picture, all I want to do is drag my picture to that folder. And you'll know that you've done it right. You'll actually see the picture in there. If you don't see that picture, it means you might not have dragged the right thing. So I know I have my picture in my folder. Before I leave this picture, I want to make sure that I get this URL. So I'm going to right click on this and go to copy. And then the nice thing about having this image citation page here is I'll be able to click on that. And this is where I'll type in picture number one. And I can right click and paste that link. And now I've got that link there. And I'm ready to go for my next picture. Every single picture you want to use in your documentary you need to have a website for. Any picture you put in this folder over here, make sure you get that citation before you leave it. Okay. So now I've got my first picture. Let's go ahead and try to find another one. Really be thinking about the facts and what you want to connect here because Google does do a nice job. Maybe I want a map to really let my reader know uh, what this area is like because they might not have background knowledge. So I'll go again to view image so I have a nice clean view of the image. I'll drag it over to my folder and again, notice I can see the picture in the folder now. And I'm going to go to right click, copy, take it over to my citation page, picture number two, right click, and then I will right click and paste. And now I've again been keeping an excellent log of where I got these pictures from for later on. Remember, you're going to need 12 to 18 pictures. Really pay attention to your storyboard and make sure that you're getting everything that you need. It would be annoying if you had to go search for more images while you're trying to make the documentary. Now, once you've gotten all your pictures in this folder, or you're not done yet, but it's the end of class, you need to make sure you upload this folder because you might not get the same computer again. So the easiest way to do that is go back to your drive, or in that language arts folder. All we're going to want to do is actually drag the folder right there. Okay, it might pop up this upload box. You're going to say start the upload, but you're actually going to upload these pictures to your drive. So that way you can get to these pictures from any computer where there's internet access, whether it be in Miss I's room, another teacher's room, or at home. So now it has told me that the upload is complete, so I can X out of this. And after I log out of this, I want to make sure 
that I delete this human rights folder because I don't need the next person on this computer to see all the awesome pictures that I found. So make sure once you're done that you've actually dragged that over and you've taken care of that, okay? So basically, make sure that you're following the steps in this video and if you need to refer back to it, it would be a great way to just stop, start, and be able to see where you are. And happy hunting!